To begin making my ornament, I need an acrylic skin. So I'm using red acrylic paint. I think this is pure all red. And I am using my gold, which is 24 karat gold from Deco Art, And that just has Floetrol in it. Both of them do. And I'm just making my skin on a silicone mat. For a full tutorial on how to make acrylic skins, if you don't already have one, please check out my channel and my acrylic skin playlist. But right now I'm just finishing up dribbling some different colors. This is just a different color of red here that I have on top, which is going to give me a little more contrast. And then my 24 karat gold, I'm just dabbing that in to my red pore paint. And then adding, taking a skewer and just making some designs in the paint. It just makes kind of a festive Christmas red design for this ornament. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'll show you what I have. If you already have your skin, then you're ready to go to make your Christmas ornament. And here it is. This is completed. I'm just going to let it dry. And when it's completely dry, I'll be ready to use it to make my ornament. Okay, here it is. It took three days for this to dry. I made it a little bit thicker than I normally do, but it's still going to peel up very easily. Here we are. I love using a silicone mat for that. So we have a great skin to work with. And it's a good size. Usually you don't have a lot of large skins when you're pore painting. Now this is my ornament this year. Every year for the last three years, I have made ornaments out of acrylic skins. It's kind of my tradition. And this one is made out of ceramic and the lid of it or the top of it, the part that you hang it from uh, actually is loose. It will come completely out, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to take the chance of breaking it. So I'm just going to remove the tag and I'm going to use the tag actually. I am going to use it as my template. I need a template uh, that is going to be scalloped in nature. So I'm going to be recycling and reusing the cardboard from the tag. I'm going to go ahead and flip my skin over. I am going to be marking on the back of my skin so that I don't have any pen or pencil marks on the front of my skin so that everything is clean. And I just need to make a template. So I'm taking my pen and making a U shape on that cardboard tag that came off of the ornament I'm recycling here and it doesn't have to be very big but it needs to fit with how big your ornament is because you're going to be going around the ornament and my ornament is different circumferences which could be an issue but I think this will work just fine so I'm going to go ahead and use this template and I'm going to be drawing out my scallops you can of course freehand these if you want but I want them to be fairly uniform so I'm just going to be tracing out each one of my scallops all the way across my skin and I'm going to need quite a few of these little pieces these little scales if you want to call them that so I'm going to take quite a long time doing this so I'll speed it up so you don't have to see all that I do but um, you need a lot of these I think it probably took me 75 or so scales just to do one ornament so you can check out my process and then I'm just going to take it and I'm going to cut it out. Now I start out with bigger scissors and I move to my smaller surgical scissors and there's a reason for that. It's because I kept cutting the tips off of the gloves I had on my hand. So I decided a smaller scissor might be better. So let me get these cut out so that we can begin placing them on the ornament. Okay, I'm ready to begin gluing and I'm going to start on the tip of my ornament and I'm using diamond glaze, water-based dimensional adhesive. I use that quite a lot and I'm going ahead and coating the bottom. Now, since the bottom has sort of a pointy tip to it, I am going to cut out a separate piece. It's just a little rectangular piece that I can fit on the bottom and just clip with scissors because the little scale pieces really aren't going to work very well right here unless you want to do lots of tiny little scales but I don't have that kind of patience so I'm just cutting a piece that fits as you see here and then I can start placing my scales around the tip so I'm just going to be adding more glue and then placing my scales now I'm getting them started that's kind of the hardest part of it is to go ahead and make sure that they are evenly spaced and I'm using um, 
a technique of leaving a little bit of a triangle in between each one where I'll fill in with more scales. And this was kind of a trial and error thing originally just to make sure that it was going to work and it does work. So each one is placed and yes, it takes time, but all good things do. So as I do the first line and finish it, as you can see, I'm going to go back and fill in those little places that are look like triangles by putting glue in there and then placing the scale or the scallop right on top, just like you see here. And I'm just making my way around the ornament. And depending on the size of your scallop, um, you'll kind of have to play with it to make sure that you get the right spacing. But this one tends to work out pretty easy. You'll, you'll know right off whether it fits. So you might not want to cut a whole bunch of scales until you're sure they're going to work and you can kind of cut them out in batches if you need to. But for this one, it's working great. And I'm just gonna speed it up as I work through putting all of my little scales around my ornament. As I got to the middle, it took so many scales, I had to stop and cut more of them. Is it took quite a few to get around the middle of the ornament, but it worked out okay. Okay, literally I have one row of these scallop scales left and I'm going to pull the top of my ornament up to make sure that it is up enough that I can slip these little scallops right up the neck and underneath the metal part or the hanger of the ornament. So this is very important to get this just right and glue this down just right so that it fits on top of the scales and helps hold them in place and gives it a finished look. Once I've made sure the metal hanger is affixed well, then I'm going to let it dry for a little while, a couple of hours, before using this. This is Dragonfly Glaze from Folk Art, and I have chosen the red-blue combo, which is on the far left. I tried out three different colors, decided that the red-blue flip-flop would be a really great iridescent sparkle to my ornament this year. So it goes on white, but you can just paint it straight on. You can kind of see the iridescence a little bit as you paint it on, but as you dry, it will just leave that iridescent red-blue quality to it. I just had to get a little bit of sparkle in there. And it's really easy to paint on. And once it's done, I'm going to let it dry for 24 hours before I put on my final coat of varnish. So I'll put a couple of coats of varnish on this and it'll be ready to go. Mm -hmm. 
The varnish that I'm going to be using today is Joe Sonia's Water Blaze Gloss Varnish. And you can do as many coats as you want, or you can also use resin, whether it's UV or regular resin. It's just a little harder to work with round objects. So I'm just choosing to use plain old varnish. And I'm just going to use my little foam brush, but you can use a soft bristle brush on this. It's very easy to do. And Joe Sonia, the, the water-based varnish is very easy cleanup. So that's the good thing about that. So I'm going to quickly varnish this and then you can see the result. I'll let it dry for 24 hours and then it'll be perfect and ready to hang on any Christmas tree. And here it is. It's all dry, it's iridescent and sparkly, and you can see it with the little piece of acrylic skin that I had left out of that large acrylic skin. It's just perfect for this year's acrylic skin Christmas ornament. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and the notification bell for more videos. And happy holidays from the Well-Educated Artist. Bye now.